And these things are huge. What are you feeding your chickens? <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's an early start today. It's 6 a.m. and it is freezing. But um, we're at Destination Gym. We're gonna smash some legs. Then we're off to Cairo uh, to a place called Overstreet for a massive food challenge. So a bit of driving today. So uh, smash legs first, let them recuperate on the four hour drive and let's get it guys. Excuse the husky morning voice, but it was definitely early and it was definitely cold in Texas today. But leg day at Destination Dallas Gym, it's worth the early wake up. It actually felt like a massive privilege to have this whole gym to myself. So after a few scoops of pre-workout, I got stuck into some leg extensions and some hamstring curls. And then of course, you can't go past the Cybex squat press. For those of you that follow along, you guys know I love my training and I love finding some old school gyms to train at. So every corner you turn at Destination Dallas, you find a cool piece of equipment. Like every workout, I finish off with laying hamstring curls before finishing my workout with some calf raises. Lucky I have a four hour drive to recover. All right guys, legs is done. Somehow it's gotten colder. It was like five degrees when I came here. According to uh, my iPhone, it's now two degrees. So um, look, legs cooked, destination gym, another great session. Now we're gonna go home quickly, get changed, pack my bag, make sure my cameras are charged. Man, we're headed to Cairo. It's gonna be a long one, but it's gonna be a good one. It'll be worth the wait. I'm already hungry, probably cause I know I can't eat yet, but let's get it guys. So today we're headed down to Cairo. It is south of Frisco where I've been staying, very far south. This trip will be probably about four and a half hours. But it's a nice crisp day outside, a lot of blue sky and a lot, a lot of highway. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we are running very low on fuel and we've been only seeing bush for about 45 minutes now. We made it. No one got stranded today. We're finally in Kuro. Kuero? Kuero. We're here, little country town, getting gas, then we're getting food. So it's almost time to eat, guys. I'm so hungry. Dodge that bullet. That could have ended very badly. But luckily, it all worked out. All right, guys, good evening. It's now 4 p.m., afternoon, evening. We have made it to Kuero. We are at Overstreet Restaurant. We finally made it. So it's like a little cottage. Looks kind of cool. Man, I'm so hungry, but um, we're literally in the middle of a one street country town. So not much here. Hopefully the food's good. We're at Overstreet Restaurant in Cuero today. Let's do this guys. I want to go get set up and get fed. See you soon. For those of you that are unaware, chicken fried steak is basically a piece of steak breaded then deep fried like a fried chicken and then smothered with american signature gravy man this stuff is delicious but so so dense and for all of you watching at home american style gravy is kind of like a bechamel sauce and this stack is just the beginning a couple of serves of their signature pimento cheese balls some mashed potato and bacon wrapped asparagus alongside some brussels sprouts with chili jam this is going to be interesting Hey guys, what's going on? James here, Jay Webby Kenny. Tonight I'm at Overstreet Restaurant in Kiero. I've made it. It was a five hour drive, but I'm hungry. The food is cooked. I've got a pile, seven chicken fried steaks with gravy. You guys know I love this American version of gravy. I've got mashed potato, asparagus wrapped in bacon, because you know, everything's better with bacon. Brussels sprouts, look, they got jam on them, so it's gonna be delicious. And fried cheese balls, Diet Coke for good luck. 30 minutes on the clock, a restaurant full of people. I better get this done, get out of the way and make minimal mess. Wish me luck. Three, two, one, let's go. All right. Cheese ball ranch. Mmm. <laughs> Why so silent? What have I done? Am I that? Am I that scary? Am I that scary? Come on. Mm -mm. Nice. Asparagus with bacon. Overstreet, get here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh oh. It's like a mountain. <laughs> Delicious. All right, as you can see, guys, I'm getting stuck in. I think he likes it, yeah. <laughs> I don't need to say anything. 
<laughs> Y'all, this is crazy because only two minutes into this and my host might be already. Yeah. Hey, when the food's this good, it'd be rude not to. <laughs> mm. Even though some of the things on this tray are piping hot, man, they're delicious. The asparagus wrapped in bacon is something very different, but I actually enjoyed it. The mashed potato and the fried cheese balls right up my alley. I think this whole meal is eight pounds. So I'm definitely gonna be getting eight pounds after this one. Even the Brussels sprouts with chili jam. I've never had this before, but I would probably have it again. This mountain of chicken fried steak with gravy is so hot, but it's so good and worth every little bit of burn in my mouth. For all of my Aussie friends, a chicken fried steak is basically a beef schnitzel. <laughs> I do everything supersized. But as the saying goes, everything is bigger and better in America. And believe me, an American chicken fried steak is the best. But luckily I had other things in front of me to eat and drink, so I could let the chicken fried steak cool down. Now these things are huge. What are you feeding your chickens? <laughs> Seven minutes down and I've put a pretty big dent in this platter. That's the asparagus done. I really enjoy the small town folk getting involved in my antics. They're actually a lot of fun. And seemingly they can not only tolerate me, but my bad jokes as well. Or it could be just their pure fascination at the amount of food I'm putting away in front of them. Excuse me. That means it's good. <laughs> you know it. You already knew it was good before I started. Yeah. <laughs> This one's like burning my face, I can feel it. Uh, you think here we have to slaughter a cow every day just for dinner. What do you mean? After this meal, I'm blacklisted from the whole town. That chicken fried steak was delicious. Onto the potatoes, Brussels sprouts, and remaining cheese balls. Need some balance, right? Ooh, a lot of mashed potato. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just making sure. Of course, you gotta use the remainder gravy on your cheese balls. American gravy just hits differently and goes on absolutely everything. All right, time for some efficiency. Mashed potato needed more flavor. Brussels sprouts, very hard to eat when ground up. Solution, mix them together. Spare pocket for dessert. <laughs> And this actually turned out to be a great idea. It was actually delicious. 15 minutes down, we got my mixed bowl of mash and Brussels, a little bit more Brussels sprouts and some cheese balls to go. The end is definitely in sight. I got mixed emotions about this because the food's so delicious. And I always want more chicken fried steak, but do I need it? Definitely not. Mix in the remainder of the Brussels sprouts with the mash and we're almost there. There you have it guys, 18 minutes 30. Whew. Man, that was a big thing. That was a lot of chicken fried steak. But I had asparagus and Brussels sprouts, so balance. And now I think I'll oh, move over. Uh, Thank you. Do you have room? Well, how can you say no to this? Check this out. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Mm. 
I think you guys Instagram stalked me or something. This is just enjoyment. The, the, the hard work is done. This is me enjoying. Nice. This is good, man. Well, I'm enjoying myself, so. This is impressive. It's chewy, but it's like so thick. It's. It, I didn't say anything, right? See? Mama's recipe, see? Probably took you longer to make this, right? Well, actually, our friends down the street at Green Top Creamery, they special make this for us. Please give your friends my regards. I absolutely do. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, there you have it, guys. So I'm at Overstreet Restaurant in Cairo. I had appetizers, I had entrees, and dessert. I'm so full. I'm happy. I'm going to sleep like a rock tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.